Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Hey, there's a neat little coincidence. Uh, Jacob Israel is getting ready to do a live show in just a few minutes. And on his thumbnail on YouTube at Jacob Israel, he's got a uh, he's got a few different pictures within the thumbnail. Okay, and one of the pictures in his thumbnail is a real good coincidence and I can't wait to see what he talks about what it represents or where he even got it from or what it is and you might not see this before you see that but you know hey everything's documented right and what I want to show you is that you know most people that don't do their own research don't know well I don't know what they do or don't know I guess they follow blindly. But anyways, uh, Jacob Israel is getting ready to do a show. And on, like I said, one of the pictures is showing something very similar to this. What this is here, I've got a couple of these maps. And what this represents is every single one of President Trump's tweets during that month. I've got it written down somewhere. I just don't have enough room to unwrap the whole thing. And what I did, okay, so those are, here's a different one. You can see how it's written down a little bit different. And each one of these are broken down in a map and it is absolutely mind boggling at the precision of how many tweets were put out each month and how many tweets were sent out after the minute. Like right here would be 12 o'clock. This would be one minute after 12, two minutes after 12, three minutes after 12. So there's 60 pie wedges. And on, it didn't matter the hour, it was just the minute. And like I say, this is every single one of the tweets of that month. Here we go. Uh, in February, oh, I didn't write the uh, year down. It was 2019. Uh, in February of 2019, he sent out 182 tweets. I believe I wrote down the, on some of the charts that I've got down here, I also marked down the ones that he deleted. Or, anyways, I've just broke these out because like I say, it will be, um, it's in his thumbnail. So I can't wait to see what he says about a chart that looks similar to this and like I say there's I've got quite a few of them but nobody was ever interested in stuff like that because they say trust the plan and all they want to do is trust the plan so there we go so there's the, another one and you can see I've got another one and another one and oh I'm sure I've got other things hidden around uh, but anyways I'm sure that's a coincidence don't you I, I, I'm sure it is. And I know that people do a lot of research and they do all their things and they know plenty and there's no need to do anything more than wait for a few more months. There is guaranteed going to be an election process that you can participate in soon. So uh, buy yourself a pillow, go right back to sleep and uh, they'll awake you when they need you to vote. So uh, good luck. Enjoy your TVs on. Uh, I hope you all got a great big one on this last Black Friday. And if not, don't worry. Maybe somebody will buy you one for Christmas, huh? All right. Well, God bless you. Uh, I, I eagerly await to see Jacob Israel. His last one was absolutely hysterical. Kind of a coincidence that he used a mirror to kind of get his point across. Don't you think? <laughs> Sometimes you just got to show people things in ways that they, well, can see things differently, I guess. So what a creative uh, last video Jacob Israel did. I look forward to seeing uh, tonight's video. And again, just a coincidence that his thumbnail has, well, we'll go see what his is about. I showed you what, and told you what mine's about. All right, God bless you, Patriots. You have a great time enjoying following anonymous Q channels that keep you in politics. Remember, when did the timestamp and gap code show up? When and where did that phrase come from?
The timestamp and gap code. The timestamp and gap code that so many people love to use that actually use that acronym and that code, timestamp and gap code, who coined it? Where did it come from? Who was the first person that was out there teaching and showing every single day the timestamp and gap code? Who was the first one? And yet every single person that uses the timestamp and gap code believes that's all there is to know. Am I mistaken? Is that all there is to know? That there's communications going back and forth? If there's communications going back and forth with the timestamp and gap code, what is the message that you're receiving? Is it the exact same that every single other QAnon person out there is saying? Trust the plan and wait? Is that the message that you're getting? Or are you being entrapped in the thought process that what you're dealing with is so important that you'll be vindicated that what you're showing? I guess that was a bad way of saying what I was trying to say. But if you know the timestamp and gap code and you're trying to prove to people that there's communications going on, what is the message that you're receiving from the other end that's different from any other anonymous QAnon out there? Just a question. You're following the exact same things that they are. You're following the news and you're watching your TV. You sit in front of your TV watching the news. You're getting all your information from the news and anonymous sources on Twitter. And that's perfectly fine. You're allowed to do whatever you want. But I find it funny that so many people that learn from somebody something would then sit there and say, the person that taught me this doesn't know what they're talking about. But I will continue going on the lessons that I learned from that person, even though that person doesn't know what they're talking about. Sounds like you've been brainwashed. Sounds like you're in a spell. You questions or answer those questions. I don't know. I don't go to your channels and, and, and spy on you guys. That would drive me nuts. I see enough things that would aggravate me enough on any other Twitter or YouTube or anywhere else. Those kind of things that show up. I'm not going to go track down people to see what you do. I could care less what you do because the message is there for everybody to know. If you want to share the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ, you can. And you're allowed to. And if you don't want to, you're allowed to not want to. I can't go over and try to make you do anything. That would be ridiculous. I'm just giving you the options to show you what's going on. People want to know about what Q was about. Well, I figured out what Q was about. I learned what the language was about. Learn the comms. I taught the comms. You guys now understand the comms. And you sit there and say that there's nothing more to learn. Perfectly cool. I would ask myself why I would think that way. Especially when we see so many things that contradict the way the plan is supposed to be being played out. Completely up to you. Completely up to you. And that's why I am still here trying to talk to people, not to convince them to vote Republican, not them to have hope in politics or trust in fallen angels. I'm here to hopefully find anybody that's lost and confused within the Q community because all the decoders know my name. All the decoders within the Q community know my name. All of them. They've all blocked me at one point in time. They know who I am. And that's what I did on purpose is to make sure they could remember who I am so that the pieces can be picked up when everybody's lost and confused and scared and don't understand what's going on. Nobody predicted Donald Trump was going to lose the election. Nobody predicted he was not going to be put in office. Except for one person. The guy that said they talked to Q. 
that everybody else said that didn't know what he was talking about.